Well, good morning, Iowa. It's Congressman Zach Nunn with my family and my wife, Kelly, and we are out at Four Oaks uh, to talk about the importance of fostering and adoption. Um, as many of you know, our family, uh, my wife, Kelly, and I have the privilege of getting to adopt two kiddos, an anniversary year this month, and they were sisters. The ability to keep families together, both in the foster care process as well as in the adoption process, goes a long ways to both the mental health, the happiness, and the success, not just of the family, but of the girls themselves together. So today, I'm thrilled to be joined by so many folks who are part of the team that makes the foster care and adoption system here in Iowa successful. And it's one of the reasons that both Kelly and I have become just very vocal about what we can do to help make adoption that much easier for families, for friends, for first-time families that want to have their forever family. And so with that, when Kelly and I had the opportunity to bring in um, a little girl, she had a sister with her as well. And we wanted to make sure these two little girls had the opportunity to spend not just their young life together, but to get to know their family in a way where they were not going to get to know the rest of their family. The success of them getting to spend time together goes a long ways in making sure that they get to have the opportunity to have the best possible life in the future they can have. And certainly for our family, it's been a real blessing. As I serve in Congress, I have a special place in my heart because of our uh, process for both foster care kiddos as well as adopted children. And according to the United States Department of Health and Human Services, there are over 4,000 Iowa children in foster care. And there are over 1,000 children who are waiting for adoption. And the success story is we have a lot of families who want to help make that process possible. But as we learn, and as so many families in Iowa know, the process is not easy. It is a long, committed, expensive, and sometimes challenging case. Unfortunately, some foster families in the United States, the cost for adoption is just far too high for them to even begin. This can range from $25,000 to $60,000 for adoptions right here in America. And sometimes, this leads families to not be able to adopt more than one child. And sadly, that means siblings can sometimes be left behind. I think collectively we all recognize how challenging that is and it's something we want to work to address to make sure that this is not the impediment being able to keep families together. So that's why today I'm very excited to work with this team in introducing the Fight for Siblings Act. It builds on a compendium of bills that we've worked on already in the House to help foster families be able to afford the expense of bringing a child into their family. This bill is simple. It doubles the adoption tax credit for families that adopt at least two siblings in the same fiscal year. And while this doesn't help our family and those who have already gone through the process, it certainly will be helping other families as they go forward. I'm proud to note this is bipartisan legislation working together across the aisle and across the chamber so that we can get good legislation to the president's desk, hopefully this year. I'm proud to be able to serve as the co-chair of the Congressional Youth Foster Caucus, and introducing this Fight for Families Act expands not just the tax credit for low- and middle-income families, it helps kids stay together. And I'm grateful to have had the support from our community, particularly as we've learned in this process, and helped every child find their forever home. So I want to introduce Mary Beth O'Neill. Mary Beth is the president and CEO of Four Oaks right here in Iowa to say a few words about the impact this bill can have on Iowa families. Mary Beth, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that you have taken the time and worked so hard to introduce this important legislation. We do not want costs to be a factor in keeping siblings together. This is so important for their mental health, their overall well-being. Children, whenever possible, should be kept together. This is a priority. And your bill is going to help make that possible for lots of families across the United States. And I'm ever so grateful. Thank well, you. Well, and Mary Beth, I will say, it's our bill now. <laughs> <laughs> As we work together in this, thank you for everything thank that you. your, the entire team at Four Oaks does to help promote this. You guided us through this process, and I can say with full confidence, Kelly and I would not be here without this. Next, I'd like to introduce Tracy Fairhorn. She is the president and CEO of Foster Squad, which is a great way to highlight the importance of foster care and what it does for so many families here in Iowa. Tracy, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, my name is Tracy Schermerhorn, and I'm the founder of the Foster Squad. We're a local nonprofit that supports Iowa foster families. We were super honored when Representative Nunn's office reached out to us to work with him on this bill because this is such a great way for us to help continue to support foster families. 
The process is hard, it's heartbreaking, and anything that we can do to help support them and make their journey a little bit easier, we are all on board with, and this bill is gonna do exactly that. So team, this is a fight that is ongoing, and I couldn't have gotten this far without the incredible social workers who got us here, but most importantly, the rest of our family. And so I'd like Kelly to be on the spot here to just share a little bit about what it means to have um, two sisters come into our now budding family of sisters. All right, I've already been tearing up, so. Um, so yes, when we got the call to um, about our youngest, I, I told Zach, I was like, we, you know, of course we want to take them in and help them and make them part of our family, but only if they stay together. And if at any point us walking away means they get to stay together, we will walk away. Um, so it is amazing. They came, um, we started fostering them when they were one and two. Um, they had been together their entire lives. And um, even at that young of an age, and them, you know, getting becoming part of our family when they were so young. They still have a bond with each other that is different than with any of their of our other children, their other siblings. So that biological and that bond from them being together from when they were first born is just incredible because we see it all the time, you know. If, you know, one of them isn't in the house, if one of them's, you know, at school or somewhere else, they're asking where the other one is. Um, but their bond is, it truly is different um, than, you know, their bond with the rest of our children. So I do think it's just so important for them to be together, especially because when they, their life is turned upside down, the one consistent thing they had was each other. And um, so keeping them together is super, super important. With that, I'd like to um, call Tracy and Mary Beth up here. We've got a little uh, recognition. One of the privileges I get to do as a member of Congress is to award the Iowa Medal of Merit. And this is for a team effort that you guys have done to really recognize the importance of foster care and for adoption here in the state of Iowa. So with that, we'll have our two uh, littlest congresswomen help me out. Can you help me out with this? Can I present this? Who's Mary Beth? All right. Take care of the children. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. So ladies, uh, thank you. on behalf of Iowa, thank you very much for everything that you do, not just for the state, but for the entire team. Mm -hmm. And I recognize that this is a team effort. So. Yes, <laughs> yeah, very nice. Everyone can. There we go. All right, guys. Well, hey, ladies, let's do a, a quick team photo, and then we'll take any questions we need. <laughs> Come on in here. Okay. Come on up. Yeah. Make sure I'm going to put you.